It's very important that paintings shouldn't make sense, in my opinion. I think paintings are to photographs what, what dreams are to, to waking life, in some ways. And I think when things don't make sense, you keep I'm looking at them and trying to work out how the picture works. Why doesn't it make sense? What's going on in the picture? It's a sort of, it's a sort of thing that I'm constantly trying to achieve in my work. That just something that just doesn't make sense just doesn't hang together completely so that the, the viewer has to really look at it and try and finish the painting in their own mind I've taken uh, photographs some of them are my, my own photographs from, from travels there's a mountain in Tibet that I went to that, I, that I've liked to paint it's a very strange looking mountain and, and the way that the light hit it was particularly dramatic and um, there's something very very enigmatic about it and so I've painted it quite a few times in the show in, in different lights and there's also something um, um, poetic I think about about placing it with with its reflection being a cloud for example so you've got a mountain which represents millions of years of geological time and it's solid, it's made of earth and rock and then you've got a cloud which is just vapour and um, it changes its shape from moment to moment. Trying to express visually is, is some of the, the wilder ideas that are out there in physics at the moment. They've decided that um, to fully understand gravity we need far more dimensions than we're aware of. So we need a whole lot of, a lot of dimensions that we can't see. And these other dimensions are right, apparently they're right next to us. They could, be, they could be underneath us, above us, all around us. And so there could be these other places right next to us that we can't see. And so uh, I guess I'm trying to imagine what, what that might look like by having a mountain with, with an entirely different world underneath it reflected.